Hello guys, happy Thursday. We woke up, went to brunch today. We went to Lodi. Got dressed and walked to brunch. We went to Lodi in Rockefeller Center. We sat and ended up having some pastries. We had a maritazzo, babalone, a flauto of chocolate, and some type of like pinwheel. This was the best and then the chocolate flauta. Went to Anthropology, saw all their Christmas stuff. Anthropology Christmas is hitting this year. I really want these cups. How cute is that? Then we went to FAO Schwartz. This is like a kid on crack. The store is intense. We were having like a panic attack, but I really wanted the it sugar they had there, so we got some candy. Stopped at Whole Foods, came back. We thought we'd be able to order some lunch things so we could get like some pastries, coffee, and like maybe a pasta. But they only had pastries and breakfast. So we ended up sitting down and just getting pastries and coffee and we totally could have just grabbed, got it to go because they have like a grab and go area where you can like sit. But it's okay, we had a nice leisurely pastries and coffee, little French breakfast. And I had a cappuccino and the pastries were super good. Their pan au chocolat is like, almost looks like a sausage roll. Like it's long, so good. The babalone was probably the best. It had like a rhubarb and a cream in the middle. And then we got like a lemon poppy seed thing that was okay. And this other thing that was like cream filled. I forget what it's called all delicious but we just got back and i unboxed a package from forever 21 i wanted to do a little haul from forever 21 i feel like they have some good stuff in the fall i did one last year and i still have some of the things i feel like forever 21 has slept on a little bit online and they always have like 20 percent off like you can always get a coupon and they got so much stuff for like less than 200 dollars. so i want to show you first i'm really into this like western style right now so i got this cardigan honestly this could be like a jacket it's so thick it has this hood and it has belt i thought it'd be super cute you can literally just wear like a black and then wear this and this is like the statement piece super cute i got this just for fun i really wanted the matching jogger it was sold out so i got this hoodie but i liked the color it was like charcoal gray what made me want to do this order is i saw this loved the pictures that they had with the model in this she was like next to a horse on a farm and i just really like this western style lately and i thought this was cute and different i got a size large because i wanted it big but i think maybe i should have gotten something smaller but it's super thick and warm zip up which i don't really have a lot of zip up things actually i don't think i have any zip up sweatshirt right now so that's cute one of the things i got last year was this dress and i have it in black and it's so expensive looking and chic and i saw they have it in gray and i've been on like a gray kick right now but it has these little cap sleeves it's like a midi maxi dress depending on how short you are like me and it's super thick and nice so worth every penny and then i got another dress that i wanted to try out this one is like a polo style so it has a collar short sleeve it has a little bit of ribbing but it goes all the way down too so i thought this would be cute for like a more casual dinner then i wanted to try out their basics so i just got this t-shirt it's nice to have like cheap white basics sometimes because i do ruin them with like sweat dirt like whatever so i got this one it's more like a cream color and it's ribbed and then i got this one if you can tell the difference this one's definitely just like bone white and it's a long sleeve Feels like a nice stretchy light material, so it could be good. And then I've been looking for things to wear for dinner for more like fall and winter under a big coat. And I've been really liking the whole like sheer lace moment, but I got this long sleeve lace moment where you can just like wear something under lit and then layer it up with like a cardigan or a blazer and think that's really cute and then this one is a little bit more fun white has these little like cap sleeves actually it's definitely like a cream not white but super cute so that was my haul don't sleep on forever 21 they have some cute things and you can get things online that they only sell online because the store can be like chaotic i haven't been in the store in a while but I feel like it can be chaotic but yeah i'll link everything down below let me quick also just show you my favorite channels on my outfit today this sweater is from glamorous this tank top is just h m a goldie baggy comfy ones and then i ended up just wearing uggs to dinner and it was i mean to brunch and it was nice to walk in uggs let me try all this stuff on for you guys though see i feel like gwyneth paltrow would wear this like it feels so chic and cute it's very comfortable i love it oh this is very soft and comfortable love it 
The print is fun. I wonder if it's like reversible. I feel like you could definitely reverse it. How cute is that? I just had some appointments and I passed a Trader Joe's so I stopped in got a few little things so Let me show you what I got here is my mini little Trader Joe's haul some spinach Garbanzo beans. I got two shots. My throat has been hurting today So I figured I would get a ginger shot and then I also got this turmeric shot celery um a liquid stevia and whipping cream i got two of them shelf stable ones uh vegan caesar dressing i've never tried this i'm not a fan of the greek goddess dressing but i really wanted a good caesar that's not like too high in calories and stuff so i thought i'd try that bananas me and bananas dan always says we have this like arch nemesis affair because they turn disgusting for me really quick but i love them when they're green but i can never eat them fast enough like i don't know we have a thing going on pears i love pears i've been really on a multi-grain waffle kick lately so i got some of those i got their seltzer water the cranberry and lime juice one broccoli i saw these and dan loves like yogurt so i thought you might maybe want to try this one peaches and cream and mangoes and cream um for some frozen fruit it's the cheapest there frozen fruit is so overpriced but i got mango strawberries and this cherry berry blend because i love cherries some cooking eggs just like cheap ones for cooking and then a pumpkin bread mix and that oh and of course i got one of the jalapeno rice puffs because i just love them and that's my trader joe's haul i'm gonna put this away while i was there this couple in front of me was standing in front of like the what's it called like the goods it has like the cream the lotion like the little like household good items that they make but i've seen a few things on tiktok being like oh trader joe's has like great dupes for some items and i'm actually out of hand cream and i was like looking whatever this couple in front of us, me was like talking and then all of a sudden they're like okay and they start taking down the fucking hand cream and I was like, surely not. They're going to take all of them. They took the whole shelf full of hand cream. I was like, should I go in there and just grab one? And I was like, no, like, I'm sure maybe they'll leave like one or two or something. They took every single one. And it just made me want it even more. Like, I wasn't even going for hand cream. I don't even know if I would have bought it. But the fact that they were like out there to get every single one, I was like, Ugh, I want one. <laughs> How dare you? So they took all of them. And I was pissed. So I didn't get no hand cream. But obviously it's like a good a good dupe or something didn't get to it fast enough but i have a few more errands you need to run i'm gonna run downstairs and pick up my packages and then i need to pop back out but i'll do that when i take my little pup for a walk because i need to get some computer work done as well chinese for early dinner and ended with our little sweets if you've ever been to itchigger it's so good this one watermelon six out of ten gummy shark 7 out of 10. I really like that like white gummy though, but it has to be like authentic. And then this isn't your regulation sour belt. This thing is zingy, all right? Crazy. Ended it with my fave, which are the gummy pizzas. And that was the night.